once in a while. There are those who are given the chance by God to do important things for large numbers of people, even nations. We here today in Dakar have just that opportunity to help Africa and the black diaspora. Never before have so many leaders of Africa, African-American leaders and friends of Africa, come together to work and plan for the future of Africa and for the common good of black people in America and in the world. For years it has been said that what is happening here could never happen. It has been said that Africans and African Americans are too divided and the gap is too wide for us to ever come together as a people. It has been said that blacks in America don't care that much about Africa and do not want to be identified with Africa. It has been said that black leaders do not trust black leaders enough to work together anywhere, either in Africa or in America. And it has been said the many whites in America and in the world don't want black people to come together like we are today because if we do, problems, they say, will be created that they cannot deal with. Many in America and the world have for centuries exploited, dominated, and subjugated Africa and its people and have attempted to keep us divided because they knew you can divide and rule. But today... May 3rd, 1995. Here in Dakar, we have defied what others have said should or could not be done. And we're here together, united and indivisible as one, and we want the world to know that as black people we shall never be separated again. Never! 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 We are coming together! And you'll never do to us again what you've done before. Never, 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 never.